video for you today. Today I'm in a different setting in a different kitchen. Excuse the background noise, okay? But today I'm going to make this awesome, delicious meal. And it's a seafood macaroni and cheese dish, okay? It's awesome. But just know this much, y'all. It's not for weight loss, but it is really seal so. So let me show you the things that you're going to need for this awesome meal. Okay, you guys, so let's get into some of these ingredients that you're going to need for this wonderful meal, okay? You're going to need some fresh thyme, thyme, okay? You're going to need some extra virgin olive oil. You're going to also need some cheese, okay? We're going to be working with some uh, Gruer trees. Gruer, please excuse my pronunciation. You're also going to be using some Gouda. And you're going to also be using some Munster. Now I had to measure this out because I'm not home. But you're going to need three level type, uh, tablespoons of flour. You're going to need one regular small or medium sized uh, onion. You're also going to need two cloves of garlic. You're going to need some Tabasco sauce. Um, you're also going to need some seasoned salt. Black pepper. You're going to need some half and half. You're also going to need some whole milk. You're going to need some kosher salt or sea salt. Also, you're going to need some uh, crab oil because this helps with the taste and the flavoring. And for our main ingredients, you're going to need some penne uh, noodles. Or you can use the elbows, whichever one you prefer. And you're going to need some crab meat. Now, this is my lump crab meat that I got at the seafood store, the market. Okay. And this is one pound. You're also going to need, now this is two pounds. And because I'm cooking for a large family, that's why I got the two pounds of shrimp. So this is two pounds of um, larger, yeah, larger, extra large shrimp. And you're going to need lobster. Okay, and I got three nice sized lobster tails. Okay, and I'm just going to de shell these. Okay, so we got our pan on our pot on the stove for boiling our noodles. And let me start the process of this wonderful meal. So, we're going to start off right now, you guys, by grating our cheese. I have this wonderful little grater that I picked up at the store. And it grates and all the cheese folds at the bottom. Makes a whole makes things a whole lot easier. So this is the gouda cheese, and I'm gonna grate three cups of the gouda. Alright, so since this recipe calls for three cups, and I'm making pretty much double the amount for my family, I'm gonna be grating at least six cups in this recipe. So I will list the accurate amount that you're supposed to use for the regular recipe. But like I said, I'm also making this for my family, so I'm making double the portion. All right, you guys, so next I'm going to finally dice up my onion and my garlic cloves. guys so now what I'm gonna do is prepare my uh, milks for the microwave because we're gonna pre warm this up in the microwave so you're gonna need whole milk and we're gonna do like three cups of whole milk now being that I'm making double the amount I'm just going to put four cups of whole milk. And then it's supposed to be two cups of half and half. Okay. But being that I'm doing double the amount. And 
and it's a lot of pasta. I'm gonna do four cups of half and half. Okay. Next, I'm gonna put this in my microwave and heat it. All right, you guys, so we are back, and right now I have my pan on the stove, and I'm going to warm it up. And I'm going to add in two tablespoons of my extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so now I'm going to take my onions and, and garlic and I'm just going to saute it for about three minutes. And next, I'm going to take one heaping tablespoon of my fresh thyme or thyme, and I'm going to add that in there as well. Now, while this is um, sauteing, and this is on medium high flame, next, I'm going to take my three tablespoons of flour. And I'm going to put that in there as well. And just continue sauteing. Just uh, toss that around in your skillet until the flour is fully absorbed. And next we're going to toss in our hot milk into the skillet. So I added in my milk, which is whole milk and half and half, and I heated it up in the microwave. Okay, so now instead of the wooden spoon, I'm going to move to my whisk because I want to make sure that the flour that I absorbed in there doesn't clump up and that it's actually mixing in with the ingredients. So you're just going to whisk that around. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is add in all my other flavors for seasoning. So now we're just going to add in a couple of dashes of Tabasco sauce as well as some salt. And I'm also going to add in some crab oil. I'm also going to add in some black pepper and also one to two tablespoons of my Larry season salt. I'm just going to put one tablespoon in there for now. And you can test your sauce, your milk. Make sure that it's at the right taste. So I'm just going to continue whisking this until the sauce uh, kind of thickens a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to let this continue whisking until it gets to a nice simmer. And then when the sauce starts to thicken, I'm going to add in the cheese. So I added a little black pepper and a little seasoned salt in there just for a little added flavoring. You just mix it up and I'm just going to set that aside. Okay, so now that it's thickening up, now it's time for me to add the cheese in. And I'm just going to add in a little at a time of each of the cheese. And these cheese are very easy to melt. So it really melts fast, it melts easy and smooth.
just going to blend that in, whisk that in nice until all the cheese has melted into the sauce and it's nice and creamy and cheesy. Look at that. So now that our cheese is already stirred in there, it's in there and it's melting, make sure that your oven has already been preheated to 350 degrees. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to add in the noodles. So what I did now is turn my um, flame for my sauce completely off. And now what I'm going to do is add in my pasta. So it's in my bigger pot, which is what I should have done to begin with. So I'm just going to mix that in, make sure everything is mixed in nicely. right back all right you guys so now it's time for us to layer all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a layer of my noodles at the bottom of my pan and as you can see this is a humongous pan because I'm making it for a, a lot of people so and they love mac and cheese so you can only imagine. Excuse the noise in the background, you guys. They're playing video games. Each, I'm going to do a layer of my shrimp. Okay, mix that around. I'm also going to do a layer of my lobster. Mix that in there as well. And a layer of the crab meat. And in between the layers, I'm also going to add in some more of my cheese. Some of my Guerrero cheese and my Gouda. This part you don't have to, but I chose to. Okay, 
Now I'm going to add another layer of my pasta. And this is a roast and bacon pan. It's really big. And now I'm just going to follow up with some more of my shrimps. And also the lobster. And the rest of my shrimp, I mean my crab meat. And I'm just going to top it off with a little bit more of my cheeses. So before I actually pop it in the oven, I'm just going to lay it, cover it with some foil paper. Now I actually got this recipe from Cooking with Carolyn. And she has a she she has a wonderful channel with wonderful recipes. Okay. She also suggests that you use parchment paper, which I forgot to bring with me. But this is gonna be just fine. So now I'm gonna pop it in my oven at 350 degrees and bake it for at least 50 minutes. Y'all, let me just take a little sample and see what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. Nice and cheesy. Wow, Woo! you see that cheese? Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You guys are gonna love this. It is delicious. Okay? I baked it for about 40 minutes. But bake it at your discretion. And enjoy, because this is really good. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you want to see more of these wonderful meal ideas listed down below and i got this meal idea from cooking with carolyn all right so thank you so much and i will see you in the next video hey fam where are you going you didn't subscribe yet well listen first of all before you go don't forget hit that subscribe button and don't forget also to turn on that notification bell so this way you will not miss another one of my videos okay make sure that you hit that subscribe button click it and then hit that little bell and make sure that it's lit you will miss out on so much if you don't hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell next to it make sure that it's turned on so this way when I upload another video you will not miss it at all okay you will be the first to know. So don't forget, give me those likes, thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button along with the bell at the bottom. 
and you will always know when I upload another one of these videos, okay? So, I'll see you in the next video.